The golfing world is converging on Augusta, Georgia for the Masters. Hey, everyone. Rob Wong joined alongside by Toronto Sun National Golf writer John McCarthy, who is at Augusta National Golf Club covering the Masters. And, John, let's begin with the Canadian contingent led by Corey Connors, who is coming off a big win at the Valero Texas Open last week. He is around 40 to 1 right now to wear the green jacket. How do you like his chances and the rest of the Canadians this week? Well, it's a record-tying number of Canadians in the field. There's four of them, the uh, Corey Connors, Mackenzie Hughes, Adam Svensson, and, of course, Mike Weir. Uh, Connors is going to be a lot of people's uh, top 10 pick because he's done that three years in a row here. So uh, he's he's probably a good bet for a top 10. He's playing uh, great. He had a bit of a rough or inconsistent start to the season, but he, he certainly got it turned around, and he's got his second PGA Tour win last week. He's a great ball striker. Um, one thing he told me yesterday, actually, is that this the new 13th hole, which has been lengthened, a lot of people say it makes a, a difficult driving hole for them. But his shot shape is that right to left little draw. And he actually thinks it suits his game better than new 13th because he sort of ran out of room uh, on the old one because it would go into that pine straw where you see so many guys land. So now he's saying that it kind of suits him better. So he's a great bet whether he's got enough left in the tank after a, a huge week last week uh, is remains to be seen but he's he's certainly uh, the favorite among the Can- Canadians he's now the 28th ranked player in the world well five time masters winner tiger woods is 80 to 1 if uh, you're not laying something down on tiger are you even uh, doing it right this week but at the age of 47 coming off the off uh, all these injuries john what can we realistically expect to get from tiger well, I mean, we you don't really know because he, he plays so seldom now and uh, we haven't seen a lot of them. If the weather wasn't forecast as poorly as it looks on the weekend, I mean, we're, it's supposed to be 12 degrees with 80 millimeters of rain on Saturday. So uh, it's going to be hard for him because he said in his press conference that even last year when he made the cut, he said then it got cold and, you know, and I couldn't do anything. So it's going to be cold again. And uh, if by chance they don't get the round finished on Saturday and they have to do like 27 holes on Sunday, that's going to be maybe too much to ask a guy in his physical state. He's still got all the shots. Everybody that watched him out here, I saw him out here and guys that talk about him, he's got all the shots. It's just like he says, it's walking around the course and this isn't an easy walk. And when it gets cold and wet and soft, it's going to be harder. So I wouldn't expect too much out of him, but uh, people have written off Tiger Woods before. And of course, Scotty Scheffler is the favorite coming into this one. The guy's just been on an unreal run the last couple of years here. John, uh, who do you like this week as far as the the winner for the Masters? Who's your outright prediction? Well, if you look at the big the big three sort of favorites, it's it's Rory Scheffler and John Rahm. Um, if I was to pick one of those guys, it, it, I'd pick John Rahm because I think the season started and and it sort of seemed like it was going to be his year, and he got off a few early wins. But then Scheffler and Rory sort of stole the narrative, and I think it kind of rubbed him the wrong way, and he's a guy that plays you know, well with a chip on his shoulder. And he's in seven starts at the Masters. He has five top tens and three top fives. So he, he loves this place. He's got all the power in the world. He's got beautiful hands. So if we're picking favorites and an out, outright winner, he'd be my pick. But if you're looking a little further down, maybe you don't like picking – the favorites because you're going to get nine or 10 to one on Rom. I like uh, Shane Lowry and Sung JM. They're around 40 to 50 to one. Shane Lowry's got, he's an open champion winner at Royal Port Rush, got beautiful hands around the green. Sung JM is a ball striking machine, much like Corey Connors. So that's very important around here. And if we're looking at the live side of things, the live golfers, Brooks Kepka coming off a win on the live tour. And he's a guy that he plays well when he's got a lot of confidence and he didn't have it for a while, but he's got confidence now. And if it wasn't too long ago, he was a favorite at every major he teed it up at. So if you like the live guys, I, I'd look at Kepka. Well, it should be an exciting week. As always, it is must-see TV when it comes to the Masters at Augusta. You can find all of John's Masters coverage at the Toronto Sun and on Twitter at John McCarthy Sun.